Ashe, Master 11, Twin Flame. So, a lot of adults, they feel older because they lost their childlike imagination. And that's mainly because when we were children, our life used to be our imagination. That's why we are able to play with toys and turn toys into little miniature worlds or miniature earths and stuff like that because we built that world inside of our own mind and when you lose connection to your imagination is when you lose this connection to your actual soul because you're no longer able to be creative you're no longer able to go to that place inside of yourself you're zen while being surrounded by all of this madness you know and not only that but when we were children we were, some of us, or most of us, were forced to grow up. So by why us being forced to grow up, we end up losing that part of ourselves that we actually kept so dear to our actual hearts. You know, we end up losing that. And by us doing that, you know, when you also live in this world, you know, if you consider yourself to be cold-hearted, you know what I'm saying, then pretty much, or if you consider yourself to be no heart, you know, it's like how a lot of people used to, it used to be a trend where people would say, oh, I'm cold hearted or I don't have no heart, so I don't love and stuff like that. When that happens, your heart chakra is pretty much closed off. So by your heart chakra being closed off, you are pretty much dead on the inside without actually having to die. That is why a lot of people live with depression because they live in the past. A lot of people live with a lot of issues in their mind because they have a lot of things weighing on their heart to the point where they closed it off to the point where if you close something, then there can never be something new. You can never clean it. That's why if you want to put something in something new, you have to clean the old energy, take it out to put something else in there. You have to replace that energy and you have to realize that when you actually do that, you are gaining a lot of things that you possibly needed in order to not only heal yourself but to grow from it you know that's why they say cleanly cleanliness is next to godliness because when you're actually trying to clean something or when you're trying to make something new happen for yourself when you're trying to open doors you have to be able to close doors you have to be able to let go you have to be able to throw shit in the trash and just let it be the trash you know you have to be able to take the old energy out and make new energy come in. That's just like how a lot of people want to be healthy. They want to be healthy and they want to eat healthy and they want to exercise and stuff like that because they are searching for purification. They are searching to be pure in their mind, body, spirit. You know what I'm saying? In your mind, they're searching for purity to be purified because they want their negative thoughts to go away or they want all the things that are actually inside of them that really went dormant to no longer exist in their hearts. They want to be purified from the heart chakra because if they do, then maybe they can love again. Maybe they can find someone that they want to be with. Maybe they can be vulnerable instead of trying to be all big and strong as if really there actually are. But really, the more big and strong you are, the more and less you actually are in the heart chakra. That's just like how you see a lot of people, let's say they lift weights, but they legs look skinny as fuck, you know, like you're, you're unbalanced, you know what I'm saying, like you don't, it, it don't go right, Biggie Smalls type of shit, so not only that, but you have to really be neutralized, you have to be neutral, you know what I'm saying, because if you are neutral, then you are able to decipher right from wrong, good from bad, what you need and what you want. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a difference between what you need and what you want. Having a car is having something that you actually want. And when you live in the matrix, it will make it seem as if you need what you really want. But really, you only want it. You don't actually need it. You know what I'm saying? So, it's many things to it. It's many things that I can say about that. And another thing that I really wanted to say about that, that I really wanted to elaborate on, and not only the fact that, you know, when we lose that connection with our soul, we lose that, that makes us who we are. And then when you lose your heart, you're pretty much dead on the inside. Like, it's it's deeper than that. It's just like when you have sex, you know, when you have sex with someone, you become that person. That's like me, for example, if a woman was to have sex with me, let's say she did not understand the stuff that I was talking about. 
But after we had sex and stuff like that, she understood everything we were talking about, or she had a bigger view. She had a bigger connection because sex is the fastest way to somebody's soul. That's why they say the eyes are a road to the soul. You can see the fire in my eyes because I have a lot of fire in my soul. That's what the color red stands for. Christ, Helios, Ra, Light, Fire, that fire in your soul, that Kundalini Shakti, that sexual energy. And not only that, but when you actually look into somebody's eyes, that's a road to their soul. But like I said, the fastest way is to, is to have sex with them. That's why this world is ruled by lower energy because the first thing people do is have sex with somebody before they actually get to know somebody or before they actually say they really love or care about somebody because that's just who they are. That's just what this world is. This world is the lowest form of existence. Your body is the lowest form of existence. You know, if my body was not here, I would still exist in everything because to exist here means that you really are bound here because you are bound inside of a body. That's why a lot of people like your face. A lot of people like things that you physically have or the cars you physically drive, but they don't really love your soul because your soul has nothing to do with your body. Your soul is only inside of your body. My soul is what is speaking right now, you know. And uh, a lot, another thing I wanted to say about that was that it's just like in the military. The military, when they train, when they kill someone or when they shoot someone, the first, play, perps, the first place they aim is either the head or the heart. And that's because just like when you get sick or just like when things happen, if your head is not connected to your heart, you know, like how they say, I've been running around like a chicken with my head cut off. You can lose your brain. Your brain means nothing. It's really your heart that is what determines whether you live or not. You know, that's just like your brain is the matrix. Your brain is the one that gives you these two eyes so you can see the illusion. But your third eye, which is your intuition, which is your higher self, which is God, pretty much, or how should, how I normally say, if you... If you know about gods, then you have to know about the parents of gods because a lot of people know about the light, but they don't know about darkness. And a lot of people know about gods, but they don't know about anything that came before the gods. So really, when you get to that God point, it's really your heart. That's why the Egyptians, they took the hearts out of the mummies, you know what I'm saying? And they didn't care about anything else because the heart was really what is the most beneficial. Your heart is your generator. Your heart is the generator of that fire. It's just like the sun in the sky, your soul in the sky, the spirit of God, which is our spirit in the sky.